Welcome again to the HSFF audio blog. It's Wednesday, 11th of October 2023. Time for another quick update. So what is going on? Uh, honestly, more or less busy with my private life. Just yesterday, my grandmother passed away. Um, feeling sad, of course. And this is a new world for me. World without her. She remains an inspiration to me, the other members of the family. So may she rest in peace. Um, yes, I finished the audiobook for Peter F. Hamilton's Fallen Dragon. Um, did the quick review. The, um, still have to upload it. We'll do it today. And I started The Expanse, the first first book, Leviathan Wakes. So far, straightforward. It's two protagonists. Um, Holden, who is kind of a miner for asteroids. And he lives on an asteroid station it's called Sirius uh, beyond Jupiter and yeah this this is cool they discover some kind of uh, lost vessel in space I'm still in the very beginning I think the prologue with this Julie character it's this vessel most likely the other character is Miller He's a detective, a space detective, and yeah, where is he situated? I guess he's the one in the asteroid, the other one. Oh well, still have to sort it all out, but uh, first one and a half hour or so, it's promising. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Um, the narrator is Jefferson Mays. I'm listening to the English original audiobook. Uh, first time I listen any book with this narrator so far. Yeah, seems likable enough. So I have high hopes for this series. And yeah, then in case you didn't notice, like most people probably didn't, because, anyway, um, I just ordered all Jack Reacher novels and I did a fun unboxing video. It's on the channel. You might check it out. Killing Floor, it's the first one. Um, yeah, I just read the very first chapter just to get an idea about it. It's a first person Jack Reacher novel. I think there's first and third person Jack Reacher novels and yeah, it's more or less starts out like the TV show he's sitting in this diner having breakfast and the police comes and they arrest him and well, he's a professional uh, you get to follow his observations about it all it's very promising can you get already get the feeling that he's a badass character and yeah other than that I'm still um, reading mangas mangas with my kid as a good good night story a bedtime story and we are making very good progress with Dragon Ball we're in 18th volume now Son Goku has grown up. Um, he has defeated uh, Piccolo in the Grand Tournament. Oh, this, <laughs> I guess this is uh, where Dragon Ball Z starts because uh, yeah, I think it took more than a complete volume to finish this fight. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, it always gets more and more over the top and 
Yeah, but very cool. Um, so he defeated um, Piccolo, the young Piccolo now, uh, because young Goku defeated old Piccolo. And yeah, just before he died, he burst an egg and out of this egg slivered young baby Piccolo. Such an amazing, creative and likable story. The characters are still amazing and unique. They still hold out all these decade, decades later. Just a blast to read this with my kid. She knows all the characters and yeah, such a cool story because you know Son Goku, he, uh, he trained with God. Amazing, huh? He trained with God himself in his palace above the Quittenturm, the tower of Master Quitter, whatever his name is in English. That was so cool. And yeah, well, he trained with Popo, with Popo, the servant of God. And now, yeah, now the real action begins. Uh, his brother. Raditz, that's the German name. Oh, the train comes, just give me a second here. Another train. Yeah, so turned out Son Goku is not an earthling, not a regular human being, uh, which can be said for many characters, like Tenjin Han has three eyes, He's not so human after all. And uh, yeah, uh, Son Goku's big brother arrives, Raditz. He's a Saiyan, a Saiyajin. Um, he belongs to the greatest wa warrior race in the universe. He comes to search out for his brother and he's amazed that Earth, Earth's population is still alive because baby Son Goku his mission was to wipe out humanity, to cleanse the planet, so that the Saiyajins could sell it, because that's their way of living. So, arc enemies, Son Goku and Piccolo teamed up and defeated Raditz with their last bit of power and the help of Son Gohan. Because Son Gohan, he's the four-year-old baby son of Son Goku. And now, just guess <laughs> with which character my kid likes to emphasize. Yeah. Before it was Kid Goku, now it's Baby Gohan. Yeah. And Son Goku died. He died while defeating Raditz and guess what God transported him to the other side and now he's training in the aftermath in the on the other side where the dead people go Jenseits as we say in German well, so it's I don't know how Akira Toriyama did it but this story it always it's over the top and he tops it every time with every single chapter it gets more over the top the characters grow stronger the action is more intense yeah that's amazing so and uh, I started uh, in the summer and time to continue with Battle Angel Al Alita it's uh, the cyberpunk manga uh, the android girl alita living on the in the trash city of uh, salem and well it's just a trash mountain of jiru the floating city above the high-tech city where all the rich people live this is uh, just i guess more or less groundbreaking cyberpunk manga, dystopian science fiction, 
really you have to give give credit to these Japanese artists. They have very interesting ideas about everything. Yeah, that's where I'm at now. Still reading Stephen Baxter's arc, 300 pages in. It's as good as the first one. I'm very relieved. So cool. And yeah, other than that, it has been expensive months and I more or less made my peace with selling old video game stuff and other old stuff. Not everything, of course, but uh, many of these objects, they have a certain memorial value to me. I realized I would never play them again, most likely. And yeah, my daughter, she can play the new Nintendo system next year. No reason to, in, yeah, to to let her play the old stuff. It's not really exciting for kids anymore these days. <laughs> Sad to say. Yeah, um, selling some old stuff. Sold my Sony PSP with all of the games. What did I get? 88 euros. So it's not like they have too much value monetary value these days. I guess Nintendo systems still have higher value. That's what I observe on eBay and other platforms. Yeah, but I have to fill the fridge and I have to pay off the fucking car. Really hate cars, but I guess I need one. So this one has to be paid off. All right, enough for now. That's it. If you made it to the end, feel free to leave a comment. Would be great to hear that anyone listens to these episodes. And yeah, give the thumbs up, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Have a wonderful day. Maybe till next time.